The Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, Mazi Simon Eba fumes over alleged killing of youths in Anambra community. Uh, let's go down to the full detail of the information. This is coming from the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, Mazi Simon Eba Wanjoko Ohamadike to of Ndiwo Odogu Anamanzunanya. Simon Eba uh, led Biafra Republic government in exile has condemned attacks and killings of Biafrans in our Oboru community in Anambra State. Viral video had emerged over the week showing dead bodies of some youths with accompanying voice note claiming they were killed by security agencies. In a statement on Wednesday on Eba's official ex handle, he condemned the killings. A video posted by Eba, who is known as the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, claimed that Nigeria's security forces poured gasoline on lifeless men and set them ablaze. According to him, the incident will not deter BRGIE from pursuing Biafra liberation. The nation has been thrown into mourning as the terrorists killed and slaughtered innocent Biafra citizens in Obaru and destroyed their homes. On behalf of the Biafra government, our condolences go to Biafra families in Obaru. Our objective firmly remains to achieve Biafra liberation despite the resistance of Nigeria and its institution within the Biafra territory. Nothing will deter the Biafra people's quest for freedom and Nigeria can never be allowed to become a heaven for terrorists. It is, its end has certainly come, he said. Meanwhile, as of the time of filing the report, the Nigerian army has yet, has yet to deny or confirm the alleged killing in Obaru community. Um, this is happening live in Obaru community. Of course, uh, e-security has become the order of the day in the nation. And um, it has become an everyday thing that we see uh, issue of insecurity um, all over uh, the place. And um, the governments are yet to do something about this issue of insecurity because a lot of people are going down, youths are going down, and nobody is saying anything about these things. Let the government wake up. Let them wake up to the masses uh, because the first work, priority of the government is to pro uh, protect life and properties, to protect the people, but uh, that's... That has been a different case uh, as regards this nation because uh, what you see every day is the issue of kidnap, is the issue of Ndimburu and the rest of them. And um, it's more or so that these things has, has become a uh, business. It has become a uh, business uh, in the Obodo. It also as the members of the indigenous people of Biafra calls for uh, by by court of gubernatorial pool, who say Taylor Agalakuija, the IPOB members have called for by court of the gubernatorial pool, uh, and I believe that uh, this will be uh, in Anambra State because the next election that is upcoming now uh, is Anambra State election. And the members of the IPOB are calling for a boycott of that particular election. Remember that um, the IPOB we are the people who put the present government into power. Uh, if you, if you, if you still remember, if you still remember, because the time Anambra State election took place was the height of the highest tension in Anambra State when people were not going out or coming in in Anambra State. And when he goes to that election, and because of um, Apoga, Ojuku's party, um, these people decided to lay low, that since it's um, Soludo, and since this is uh, Apoga, Ojuku's party, uh, that Apoga should be respected, and um, Ojuku himself should be respected. And the people respected Apoga, respected Ojuku, and then um, uh, Soludo was voted into power after he promised that uh, if he is opportune to get into that power, 
that he will try his possible best to make sure that Amazin Nandekano is released from the DSS detention, of which you know that immediately after he was elected as Anambra state governor, he went to Abuja uh, to the DSS um, office. He visited Mazin and the Kano. They spoke. They took pictures, and that was that was what what ended it. Because after the picture, we were expecting a proceeding. A proceeding. Uh, everybody was expecting that uh, with the power of Soludo as the governor of Anambra State, and having been favored by the same people who are fighting for secession, that he was going to do something better. And of course, you can see that um um the banish news of Ghana, news of the Mwa, Ghana and Bolona Abu, the news of Soludo. I'm throwing this question to my audience. News of Soludo Gara or the Mwa Konodroma, Agaga Kuyozo, is he going to uh, travel through this road again after all said and done, after all the promises, after making promises to the people? That when he becomes the governor, that um, practically whatever that is um, uh, overlaying the Igbo will be settled. And this will also tell you that if Mazin Nandekano is released today, that um, that Ali Igbo will become better. If Kano is released today, Ali Igbo will become better. If uh, uh, Nam the Kano is released today, Ali Ibo will become better because the insecurity will go down. It will go down. The insecurity will go down. If if uh, Anambra State could be as cold as ice during Soludo's election. Even in the height of all the tension and everything that was happening, it is also sure that if Kano is released today, that the tension in Anambra State, the tension in the southeastern part of Nigeria, that everything will fizzle away. I'm not talking about the kidnap and in the Saharas, the evil that is being done by uh, some secret agencies on the road. Uh, the kidnap of the felony herdsmen and the rest of them. That one is a different issue because these ones are happening at the northern part of the country and the people who are doing that thing, they know themselves. Yes, they know themselves uh, because you can't tell me that a tree, a water, a, a river will pass through the forest without bringing down trees. No. Whenever a river pass through the forest, surely it must bring down trees because I don't know if you are getting my point now. So, the IPOB members are saying, let there be boycott of uh, Anambra gubernatorial election. Of course, you know that uh, the government will use all their powers to make sure that that election stands. But, 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 I don't know whether it is going to be very chaotic. I think um, it is high time the government of the day start looking into the people. The people are the government. The people are the one that voted you people. The people are the government. The people should not be looked down on when it comes to go uh, governmental activities. What is bringing this issue of secession? Is it not because of marginalization? That the people felt that they have been marginalized by the government of the day that their quota has not been provided. Of course, if you look at the, 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 the states in, in Nigeria, you find that the Southeast has only five or six states. Yes. Meanwhile, other regions, the other regions, the Northwest, the Northeast, and the, the, the Southwest, and the rest of them, you see the states that are there, and you see the allocation that is going to them. And the allocation that is going is coming to the southeast is P naught. If you agree with me, you don't need you don't need a sustainer to tell you that the allocation that is coming to the southeast is P naught. It is P naught to compared to what is going to other parts to the north, to the to the west, and the rest of them, because uh, some people has decided to 
marginalize other people and make sure that other people's future and destiny is being played with. And that is what we have been facing in the government of the day. Meanwhile, this is where I'll be winding down the curtain. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share. And also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news is dropping, you'll be the first to collect it. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Mama, mama.